Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Today I want to do another video on the uh, electric motorcycle motor. This one's got the integrated four speed transmission. I took the shroud off because I was messing around with the chain rings and stuff. So I want to do uh, some speed tests in each gear and I upgraded the battery. This one's got the 72 volt 15 amp hour battery and this one is capable of putting out 80 amps continuous. So I think this is gonna be a big upgrade from the previous battery that I had on here. It was a 72 volt, 12 amp hour. Still don't have the specs on this, but I think this is, it can pull up to 150 amps, this controller to the motor. It's rated at 3000 watts, but obviously as we all know, ratings mean nothing. <laughs> so anyways, this is a 15 tooth. This is a 42 tooth. Um, I got a 19 tooth, but I don't think it's gonna physically fit. I'm gonna have to try. Um, the chain is not long enough to fit the 19 tooth um, and I don't have any extra links unfortunately but I'll make another video on that upgrading this to 19 tooth or at least a bigger tooth so but right now I just want to play around with it as it is so this is a 15 tooth and a 42 um, and I just kind of want to play around and see what kind of top speeds I can get in each gear this is a four speed now keep in mind I don't have the lights rigged up, so this is not street legal. So I'm just going to be trying to mess around with it on this side street here. I could go off on the main road, but I don't have... <laughs> the lights are not working, the brake lights, headlight. So it's not technically street legal, so I'm going to try to... I don't want to be totally reckless and totally uh, get it. I don't want to get a ticket, really. All right, let's go mess around. I'll do some footage riding around. So I was riding the bike, got it up to 51 miles an hour, and then the battery pretty much took a crap on me. I think I pushed it too too much, which if that battery truly is an 80 amp battery, that means that this controller is over 80 amps. Because that just means that I just probably just overtaxed and probably blew the BMS on that battery. So that 72 volt 80 amp battery was probably never a good fit for this for this motor to begin with so i think what i'm going to have to do is go to the go to the garage go to my parts bin and i've got the 72 volt 40 amp hour battery that has 150 amp bms which i probably should have started with to begin with um, so now i'm doing the walk of shame on the sidewalk uh, nobody has stopped to help me yet. Luckily, I broke down only a mile away from the shop. So it's not that far of a walk. Uh, and my house was along the way, so I stopped and took off my motorcycle gear. If you're wondering why I'm dressed like a civilian now. Um, fortunately, this bike isn't too heavy, so it's not very hard to, to do the walk of shame. Um, but yeah, the, the 40 amp hour battery, I think I should be, get, be able to get at least like a 40, 50 mile range out of it. So probably should have started with that one to begin with. But I was trying to keep weight down. I was trying to keep it modular. I flew too close to the sun and I ended up blowing the battery. 
At least that's what I think happened. Okay, so besides getting stranded on the bike because of the battery, this thing is, it has incredible performance on a bike frame like this. Now that I, I've upped the battery to 80 amps, uh, you know, I could wheelie in first gear, no problem. Uh, wheelie in second gear, pretty much no problem, like accidentally almost. So the power performance is a enormous upgrade from what this thing was stock, the old 110. Uh, I cannot say enough how big of a power improvement that was. I am curious, I'm, I'm, now I just have to put on that 72 volt, 40 amp hour, 150 amp capable battery that I have. Because if, if this was at 80, and if this truly is a 150 amp controller, I, I'll get about double the power if I put on that new battery. So now, what I gotta do is get rid of that old mounting plate, so I'm gonna probably go and I'm gonna work on putting together some sort of uh, battery mount for the, for the back. I don't think that big battery, it's a giant battery, it's not gonna fit up here. So I'm gonna put it up there. But uh, with this one, with even with that little shark battery, it got 51 miles an hour, um, which is pretty awesome, right before the battery blew. So who knows, maybe it would've gone faster. When I was accelerating in first gear, it reminded me of my KLR650. The acceleration of like power on tap. Granted, this is a third of the weight probably. That KLR650 was what, 450 pounds, something like that. This is probably closer to maybe a little under 200. So it might be a little less than a half, half of the weight. But the acceleration, I'm telling you, it, it, for this little tiny thing, you don't expect it. It was so much fun. So uh, if you've got questions about any of this, you want links to the products that I'm using here, check the descriptions. Uh, like I said, you guys, if you want to help support the shop, help support the channel, click the descriptions. Stay tuned. I'm going to be making more videos on this as this saga continues. Thanks, guys.